In this video, we're going to look at how we can add button shapes to our buttons on the iPhone. This has been around on the iPhone for a while, but I've seen more people using this, so I thought I'd maybe create a lesson on it. When we add button shapes, it makes it easier to see what we can tap on. Let's see what I mean. Let's go to my iPhone. Let's open up my settings app. Let's first look at what a button is. When I go to any one of these settings, Let's take a look at my notifications here. When I go and take a look at this, up towards the top we have the word settings. It is blue. This is a button. If you were to go back several generations of iOS, you'd actually see that this was a button or was shaped like a physical button. But as they flattened out iOS, the shape of that button has disappeared. We only have the word here. It is blue, so that's indicating that it is a button. But what I would like to do is have a better indication. Well, when we add button shapes to this, what it'll do is it will underline it, much like a hyperlink. You go to a website. In most cases, when you see a word that is underlined, that means that you can tap on it. Well, that's basically what happens when we add button shapes to the iPhone. These buttons here will have an underline underneath them, indicating that it is a button. So how do we add these button shapes? Well, we have to go to our accessibility settings. So I'm going to tap on settings here. I'm already in the settings app, so now I just swipe up until I find accessibility. Under accessibility, we need to go to display and text size. Now, there are a number of options here, but the one that we're going to look at is button shapes. Again, you're going to see in the upper left-hand corner, I have the word back. This is a button. It is not underlined. Let's turn on our button shapes and see what it looks like. I go to the right and tap on the slider, and now we can see we have a button shape. It is underlined. Let's look at this in another app. This does apply across all the apps on the iPhone. So I'm going to swipe up from the bottom, and let's take a look at Safari. I'm going to view all of my different tabs. You're going to see I have an underline underneath the done. So this is a button. I'm done with this page. I can tap on this button. You're also going to see that when I switch my tab groups, this is actually shaded like a button. So in addition to underlining them, in some cases, you'll actually have a shaded button. If I turn off button shapes, let's go back over to my settings app. I swipe up from the bottom. We go back over to my settings app. We go over to accessibility. We go to display and text size. I'm going to turn button shapes off. I go over to the right, tap on the slider. Let's go back into Safari. I swipe up and hold so I can see all of my open apps. And when we go over to Safari, we no longer have done underlined. And if we go over to our tab groups, it is no longer shaped or shaded as a button. So that's how we add button shapes on the iPhone. When we add button shapes, we're basically just giving a little better indication of what buttons are, what we can tap on. In most cases, what it is going to do is underline any buttons that you can tap on. So you can easily see what you can tap on. But in some cases, what you may see is a shaded button. To turn on button shapes, you just go to the Settings app, go to Accessibility, and then go to display and text size. You'll see button shapes, turn it on, and then any buttons across your iPhone on all of your apps, any buttons will now have a little better indication that they are indeed a button. So that's how you add button shapes on the iPhone. 